Today I am feeding this baby crocodile to my ostrich. Delicious. All right, children. You're being scratched by a crocodile. See how that's all puffy? Who is that beautiful woman? Delicious. This is an invasive species. Big Alex and I are going to go rob a bank. Good morning, everybody. This is Patrick's official last bottle ever that he needs at least. And while I'm probably going to give this guy more bottles even after he's weaned, this is a huge milestone for this little orphaned, injured boy to make a full recovery. So again, thank you guys so much for paying for him whenever he had a little messed up leg. That's healed up completely and now he's a perfect weight. He's actually a little overweight for his size. And he keeps getting drops of milky on his forehead. But boy, oh boy, do I have a big video for you guys today. This is my son, bigger to now. So as you can see, he's doing his morning yahoos for me. And take a look at this, you guys. I have now turned the whole living room into a wildlife rehabber office with brooders. And they still haven't filed our paperwork for the rehab permits and because of that i've gone ahead and adopted two kittens just temporarily though i'm just fostering them a friend of mine trapped a bunch of baby feral kittens and the last two that she was having trouble rehoming she just gave to me i have their little setup over there with the litter box and these little things that they can lay on and after they leave i'm just gonna give these to pog and queeb and they're definitely somewhere in my house but i just don't know where there they are and because they're still a little skittish i'm gonna be spending the next two days just socializing and deworming them with mr house here and by the time i'm done with that they'll be good to go to a new home pretty neat and organized huh guys <laughs> all right today big Alex and i are gonna go rob a bank so let's go i rented this u-haul as a getaway vehicle and look i bought some figs gaunt moment oh these little babies are now getting bigger and they're eating on their own i'm feeling their crops before i even feed them and there's a good bit of food and water in there this is how you can tell you guys you want to feel their crops you see how it's all puffy there's food in there so i don't really even need to syringe feed these guys anymore technically but this one's a little worse and eating than the other one, so I'm gonna give him a shot. That's why we lay the town down. Right, guys, take a look at this. This is probably one of the last times I'll be syringe feeding these guys because they're already eating solid food, so I don't need to anymore. That's the rule. Once they start eating solid food, you just let them do their thing. But look how long the point is on this syringe. It's perfect. I can just put that right into his mouth. Oh, there's a little bit of poop right there. Now that they are showing signs of eating on their own, I'm just gonna make sure that they have food and water inside their enclosure. Also, look at this epic wasp nest right above you. <laughs> <laughs> but I sure can't wait until all three of these boys are full grown and they'll all follow me around everywhere. And with my army of pigeons, Big Ounce and I are going to rob the PNC Bank in downtown Waco, Texas. December 3rd, 2023, Big Ounce and I are robbing the PNC Bank in downtown Waco, Texas. And take a look at this. Patrick's trying to hump me again. We got all of this delicious fruit for the Kathy. And Gustavo is finally big enough and healthy enough to go into our new enclosures over there. Eventually, we'll be able to feed Patrick to this little boy. Whoa, check out that transition. I went to the Dallas World Aquarium with my family, and these are more lay crocodiles. This is Gustavo, only when he's way, way older. This one's also very fat, happy, and morbidly obese. They also had this obese manatee in captivity, and it sure looked delicious. Oh, sweet warmth of my mouth was watering. And they had this sawtooth shark and a little place for these warm weather penguins that we could have at our place. There was also this sloth scratching himself and my dad found a giant king crab. Whoa, pretty cool clips, huh, guys? Aren't you glad Uncle Ben brought his camera to the zoo? <laughs> I might just hurt someone if you don't like this video. What do you think of this, Patrick? What do you think of this little tail, buddy? You're being scratched by a crocodile tail. Such a precious little creature. Also, as you can see, Gustavo is a lot more friendly with me. He doesn't mind being handled as much because I've been spending a tiny bit more time with him but today we're going to be feeding this crocodile to the capybaras just kidding guys oh that's going to be on my new channel called capybara capybara mukbang i think capybara mukbang all this is for our new channel called capybara mukbang that multiple of you guys have asked me to make you guys have been asking me to make a channel that's just to the cappies for a while now so as of today we are launching the capybara mukbang channel we're also going to be feeding all the other animals and we'll do asmr feedings it'll just be 10 to 20 minutes of just straight up cappies eating food with royalty free runescape music in the background also never hold a crocodile like this as you can see gort quandale kumala and sylvester have been eating a lot
lot of this hay. But look at their poops, their cocoa pops. So I hope they don't bite my fingers. A bite from one of these cappies would actually hurt more and do more damage than Gustavo could ever do. But yeah, guys, you can watch this every day on our new channel. Maybe not every day, maybe every week. But that way you guys can still get to check on the animals and see how they're doing. And I don't have to upload as much when things aren't very busy like right now. Although we are getting a lot of work done here behind the scenes. It's not stuff that I'm really filming. All right, Gord, go ahead. Take a bite of this crocodile. Oh, delicious. <laughs> what do you think of this Morlay crocodile, Gord? Obviously, you guys, I wouldn't let him take a bite of my crocodile. But look how precious this little man is. I don't think he knows that the apple is right here and he could just eat it there if he wants to. But all the cappies are way more friendly nowadays. And Polgas and Queen have been socializing with the cappies as well because they get to share this little fence line with them. And these guys are not scared of them at all. But okay, let's go ahead and release Gustavo in the pond. Look at that little boy jumping around. It's gonna be 77 for the low. Oh, sweet wampum, look at those folds. Oh, look at him. The baby and his wife are just chilling under these trees per usual. These guys love to just sit under here under the shade. Mrs. DeBaby is still getting used to little Patrick. He's got a lot of energy and he loves playing with them, but they don't really understand him. DeBaby, would you like to take a bite of this crocodile? Here, DeBaby, have a bite. Take a bite of this crocodile. All right, guys, today's the day. It's about 100 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and release Gustavo out here for forever. This is an invasive species that I'm introducing to my pond. But look at those beautiful flowers. Oh, a nice new egg. I love that this little man just lets me hold him like this now. Oh, he's scared of Patrick. Look, he doesn't like Patrick. He's too small. These guys hate four-legged small creatures for some reason. I might do something bad if you don't like this video. I might hurt people. What is up, you guys? Today, I am feeding this baby crocodile to my ostrich. See, guys, the thing about Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife is that he feeds all of his crocodiles nice little birds. So for this channel, you guys, I'm gonna just start feeding my birds crocodiles. Here you go, Homelander, have a little bite of this. There's not a thought going on behind those big old eyes. Just kidding though, guys, all these animals are rescues and we don't feed them to each other. Uh, except for Big Ounce. And I won't actually be releasing him in this pond, although I'm sure he would love that. But I'm afraid that if I did that, he'd probably just go down to the middle of it and disappear and we'd still see him and i could go in there and fish him out but it'd be a lot of work but it'll be a lot easier to do that when he's larger because then he won't be as hard to find mm, that water sure looks clean patrick spit that out but look at this guys this is gustavo's new enclosure i'm gonna add a little bit of foliage in here and i might even run a little pump so i can aerate the water so we can have some live fish in here with him if we need to bring him inside then i can just use all these things in here but this will make the water nice and healthy for him no the dang chicken ate my guava well i suppose i'll just give it to all these babies i was finally able to round all these boys up and these guys have done a number on the grass back here so we have to give them a lot of water pellets and hay and i finally found a place to rehome this little boy too but check this out guys look at the difference between this paddock and this paddock the foot traffic from these guys alone keeps the grass from growing and because we just have geese over here all these wildflowers grew in and that's all good pollen for my bees and billy eyelashes over there just eating some some weed. I think Patrick here might have a crush on that little girl. He says, who is that beautiful woman? The house is getting done. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. Okay, this is a nice little temporary setup for him. What the dog doing? All right, guys, as you can see, this is a great little spot for him. This is exactly what Chandler's wildlife does for the most part. This will be our new little crocodile area. Now he has plenty of space to get up out of the water and sunbathe if he wants. But this is just the first step, and now he has a much bigger area to swim around in and play. Three times as big as that last one, which is now conveniently our goat waterer. But this lid here makes it impossible for him to get out, but it still lets a lot of sunlight in. And when things get colder here in Texas, we can always just put them inside in here. Here, and we're going to replace these doors with much better insulated ones and we'll have actual electric running to the building all right children here you go look at this happy beautiful boy floating in the natural sunlight i'll get some little things to decorate this tub and then we'll feed them for the first time in here but this is a lot of space for minnows and other things to swim around in with them but things are coming along smoothly but wow take a look at this you guys everything's slowly coming together and big ounce did that all by himself i'm 
Patrick, you're being cringe. Sure can't wait for this to all be done so I can bring Karen and Kevin back up to the front. And all this yard will be nice grazing for them. Someone laid an egg in ounce topia. Wow, 54 grams. Whoa, was that big ounce? Have you been running amok in here with two kittens? That's it for now, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my little video. In the next video, we're going to rob a bank with big ounce. So make sure you subscribe. It's getting almost 100 degrees every day here in Texas again. So it's time to start committing war crimes. But that's it, though, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Whoa, that's weird. I'm looking down at the like button and you haven't pressed it yet. <laughs> Whoa, hey, guys, it's me, Uncle Ben Coon. That frog sure looks angry. Maybe, maybe you should listen to what he's saying. Also, check out our merch.